Hello everybody and welcome back to Automation the Car Company Tycoon Game and PMG Drive. Today I'm going to show you how you can configure your car so that when you export it to BMG Drive, it'll have an electric motor. And this is actually really, really easy and you don't need to do much at all. So, um, first off what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you exactly how to do it real fast, it's really simple. And now, the actual configuration of the car later on is kind of hard to get right. So I'm going to give you some tips on also how to make the best EV you can. So, um, right over here, I've just got a vehicle, which I made really fast. Um, you can see it here. It's a generic sedan, 2020 vehicle, and it's got 200 horsepower. Really basic um, inline four engine. And this is what we're going to turn into an EV. To do that, you want to go over to this testing tab over here in the configurator. And you want to go over to the description. So by default, you're probably going to be in markets or something. And what you want to do is you want to go over to the description tab over here. In the description, what you want to type is an exclamation mark, EV, and then another exclamation mark, just like so. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and export your car. And it'll just literally automatically become an EV once imported into BMG Drive. So I've now got quite a bit of experience with making EVs in automation and I'm going to give you some tips on how to make the best ones possible. To do, to do that, we're first off going to head over into BMG Drive and I'm going to demonstrate with a 200 horsepower car, a 560 horsepower one, and a 900 horsepower one. These are all literally the exact same, but then just with slightly different engines. So here I am in BeamNG Drive, and here we have the 200 um, horsepower one. In front of that, we have the 560 horsepower one, and in front of that, we have the 900 horsepower one. And I'm just going to demonstrate how this 560, no, 200 horsepower one drives. Yeah, and as you can see, literally by typing in exclamation mark EV, exclamation mark, it is now an EV. Um, and they're always going to rev to exactly 9,000 RPM, um, and yeah, basically that. Anyways, I'm going literally full throttle, and as you can see, it is, it, it, yeah, it's slow, right? It's, it's really, really slow. This is a 200 horsepower one, um, and... Yeah, as you can see, it's really slow. You really don't want something like this. You definitely expect better um, from from an EV like that. So here we have the 560 horsepower one, and I'll demonstrate this one. As you can see, it's slightly faster. However, for this being full throttle, this is probably still not what you're after, right? And then we have the 900 horsepower one, which sounds like a lot of horsepower, but it isn't even that fast. As you can see, um, it just drives along nicely, right? So now um, that I've demonstrated you guys this, you have an idea of how that works. And I'm going to go back to automation and give you some tips on how to make the best CV you can. So in case I kind of forgot to mention it, the cars I tested in PMG Drive were literally all the exact same vehicle, just with engine swaps, um, and the base model with 200 horsepower costed 30 grand, so it's literally just a perfectly normal vehicle. Yeah, and now I'm going to demonstrate how to make your EVs better with this 900 horsepower one over here because this one was the fastest however if you paid a lot of attention to the top left corner in BMG Drive you you'll you would have seen that um, going downhill the 0 to 60 miles per hour um, was barely um, under 10 seconds so still it's definitely probably not as fast as you want it to be and now first off we're just gonna go with horsepower yeah, um, you want you want to have a lot of horsepower, probably more than um, 900. However, now of course that that's also depending on the car you're making. Um, I recommend, uh, especially on, um, especially you know, depending on your vehicle and its goals, that it have around 
nine that well and at around 600 plus horsepower anything below 600 horsepower will really not get you that far um and of course make sure that you also then have a pretty nice torque curve to go with that horsepower talking about curves um when porting the regular petrol engine over to an EV engine, it takes your top torque and your top horsepower. So the actual curve of the engine does not matter at all, which is pretty nice. Um, so you could have a terrible torque that go a terrible curve that goes literally like this, and it'll just take the top um, the top torque or the top horsepower, and uh, BMG Drive will use that and just convert it to how a regular engine would drive. So let's do that. In this 900 horsepower one, um, I'm just going to grab an existing engine. I don't think there's a lot of good engines that actually fit inside this thing. Um, I'll select a good engine maybe. Is this one a lot of horsepower? This one's like 560, right? Okay, so I'll, I'll put a better engine inside this thing um, to demonstrate once again once I re-import this to BMG Drive. And now there is also a second thing. So you'll see over here that the estimated top speed, well, we changed the engine now, obviously. I'll actually just quickly change that back. I think it was this one right here. Um, so the estimated top speed of this thing is 407 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that's nice and all. But as an EV inside of BMG Drive, it is never, ever going to reach 408 kilometers per hour yeah so what we can do is we can slide that right down and for this I think I'm gonna go 280 um, 280 is fast enough for how fast I want to go yeah and unless you've got a 200 mile drag strip you are never ever going to reach that and now maybe 280 is a bit low I'll put it at 300 yeah that's it, it, that that that's pretty nice and um, what this is gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to accelerate a lot faster yeah so um, because basically and also it, it's basically impossible to reach that 407 you guys can do a test like this you can try and you'll see that you'll never reach the 407 even though the, it is your estimated top speed this is because beam and G mainly takes your engine into calculation and it doesn't listen to automation when automation says that the top speed has to be 407 kilometers per hour yeah also probably a quick tip or something yeah so the the gearbox that doesn't matter at all of course um, nor does the spacing here okay so I quickly threw together this um, 3000 horsepower NAV10 engine and um, we're going to go ahead and, you know, re-export this into, um, with the EV, of course, re-export this into BMG Drive. And you'll see what kind of a difference it makes to have 3,000 horsepower. And that EVs can definitely be incredibly fast. However, I did probably go a little bit overboard on this one. So looking at this beefy car, you can see that the top speed is set for... 542 kilometers an hour. Now I'm gonna drag that way down to probably 380 as I really don't see myself reaching any higher in this thing uh, as I've explained before of course. Also for some reason um, EVs are much more prone to wheel spinning so big wide beefy tires is definitely um, a thing you can do as well as some nice downforce here in beam and g we have um we have this one and this is the one with the many horsepowers 3000 in fact and as you can see if i slam down on the throttle you can see that this one absolutely pulls it's incredibly fast um and it's incredibly fun to drive as well anyways um, as I did say in Beam, um, that these are incredibly prone to wheel spinning, I think you could just see that already, and you can see that here too, um, the wheels spin a lot, so this is all-wheel drive, 50-50 biased, um, as well, and 
look at the wheel spin. I mean, you can't really see it now, but especially when reaching higher speeds, you'll see that the wheels just randomly start spinning. Um, oh, wow. And um, something that can definitely help with that is um, downforce, right? And probably also a bit better suspension tuning. Um, also, when making really powerful cars, beam automatically calculates a really high regener regenerative braking. I always die when saying that. But look, so if I start driving, you can see that I don't even press brake here. And it automatically starts braking because of the regenerative braking. This is what would happen if I slam on the brakes. And this is just literally regenerative braking. So if you go into the vehicle config and then into tuning, and then scroll down a bit, you can actually... um. Here, turn down regenerative braking, probably not all the way, but you can, for example, put that at 40%, just like this, and that'll reduce the, regener the regenerative braking significantly, um, as it can be quite intrusive, as you can see. Anyways, um, those were, the, for the most part, my tips, I guess. Um, also, if you're having a lot of troubles with wheel spin, um, adding downforce through this tuning menu, or adding a wing, active arrow, all that stuff will definitely help. Anyways, EVs are really fun, and I actually made a few videos on them before. Um, you probably saw it already, I've got a car here, and I just wanted to show it to you guys. This one has been modified um, through Beam Files, um, but still, the fact that it's an EV makes it so that it can be incredibly fast. So, um, we'll just get right up here, yeah, and um, you can see it's electric. I made this in automation, and I then modified um, the beam files. But look what happens when I press W. It's incredibly fast, and now I wasn't going straight, so that's, um, yeah, that's the thing. But, basically... Um, because it's an EV, it can go incredibly fast, and it doesn't even have to shift. As you can see, this one is also incredibly fun to drive, and it does the quarter mile in under 4 seconds. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to do that, then I definitely will, and the video in which I make this car is also going to be linked in the description for you guys. However, for right now, that was that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.